In this video, I will show you how to create a matrix of lists in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create some example lists, as you can see in lines 2 to 12 of the code. So in line 2, I'm creating my first list. And we can print this list to the bottom in the R Studio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a list containing three list elements and each of these list elements contains one value. In the next step in lines five and six, I'm creating my second list. Then I'm creating a third list in lines eight and nine and I'm creating a fourth list in lines 11 and 12. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, four different list objects are appearing at the top right, which are called my list one, my list two, my list three and my list four. And now let's assume that we want to combine these list objects in a single matrix object. Then we can apply the matrix function as you can see in lines 14 to 18 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using the matrix function in combination with the list function. And within the list function, I'm specifying all the lists that we have created before. And then I'm also using the ncall argument to specify that my matrix should contain two columns of lists. So if you run lines 14 to 18 of the code, you can see at the top right that a new matrix object is appearing, which is called myMet. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 19 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a matrix containing our four list objects that we have created before. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.